I also want to know how you define success because it's so personal and so unique to everybody. And I'm just really curious how you define it for yourself. It's strange. I think if you were to ask me this at different points in my career, I would have defined it differently. Hmm. Um, you know, when I was in my mid twenties, we'll say I would have defined success as just getting a professional job. Hmm. I didn't really care what or who. Um, it was just, you know, I didn't want to be in the service industry and in retail. Like I wanted to do something with my degree, you know, start to build a career. So, you know, 15 years ago, that was what my answer would be is just give me a job, um, you know, a white collar job. Uh, over time, it's, you know, really evolved. Um, I mentioned, you know, there was times in my career where I didn't have a lot of job satisfaction. Yeah. So if I had to say now, you know, what success is, it's finding the sweet spot in your career where you're balancing out, you're getting the right level of financial compensation to lead the life you want, hopefully doing something that you're interested in um, and that you find rewarding. I think if you can find that sweet spot, then, you know, at least for me, that's what I define success as, because I look at, you know, the job I do now, and after having spent a long time doing, you know, jobs that weren't as satisfying, I get, you know, messages on a weekly basis from people who, you know, say, because of this introduction or this tip that you gave me, you know, I, I'm now in my career, and, you know, thank you so much. And so really, the knowing that I'm actually making an impact on someone's life, and, you know, I, there's, you always wish, there's always stories that, you know, the pe person I wish I could have helped, you know, find a job or find a certain connection that haunt me, but the success that we see, you know, on an ongoing basis. So I think that, you know, for me, that is probably my definition of success. It's, you know, financial compensation with job satisfaction with work-life balance. Um, Cause I think the work-life balance can sometimes get overlooked and, you know, I know for me personally, it's definitely become more important the further I've gone in my career mm. that, you know, I no longer want a job that, you know, is 90 hours a week, that, you know, 45, 40, 45 is good for me. So I'd say that's my success. If you can find the sweet spot between those three things, um, you're successful. Cool. Thank you. Now, I really, really, really do appreciate that. And I, what I love and a theme that we've started to see is that it has evolved for many people over their careers or people starting off their careers have acknowledged this will likely change. And it's so it's personal. It could evolve, may evolve, has evolved for many people. So thank you. I, I think that that is fantastic. 